This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. How extra do you want your sink to be? Yes. <laughs> and welcome to The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. Today we're going to be looking at the create -a sim items and the build items. But before I get started, I have to say a huge thank you to EA for giving me an early release copy so that I can check it out early and show you guys what's up. All I know so far is that this game pack has my aesthetic written all over it. So let's get started quickly so I can freak out. I'm gonna quickly just breeze through these. We're gonna discover the neighborhood. It's gonna be a floating world and I can't wait to freaking see it. Learn the crafts, we're gonna study up on teachings, cast spells, conjure food, turn others into objects, drinkable potions. This is what I'm really excited for. Get a familiar! Summon a dragon, a fairy, or the familiar that best suits your sim's personality. I can't wait for that. And dress for supernatural success. So obviously there's wands and brooms and enchanting objects, and I can't wait to see. So let us just jump right in. All right, so here is my sim. Her name is Luna Silver. Thought that was a very witchy name. Now let's get started. Let's check out everything that's in the pack. Starting at the top. New hair, I don't care. What do we got? All right, so here is the first one. That is really freaking cool. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> it's so swirly. So this is the first one. Very cute. This is the second one. Those bangs look like my bangs when I was like 13 and tried to cut my own bangs and I cut them too far. And um, that's what you're left with. In this case though, it does look very witchy. However, all I can think of is bad hack job from my own personal experience. Moving on. Looks like the last two are just variations of each other. Oh my God. Whoa. Look at that volume. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa. I think we can tell which one I like. <laughs> do they change? Of course they do. The first one was probably the best. That's so Halloween. Oh, that one's cute. It's so pastel. I just want to look at all the colors. Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay, I like this one the most though. That's so pretty. So there's a couple more that the males get. I'm just going to go ahead and knock them out right now. This is so cute. Oh, look at the little flippies at the end. Wait, that's adorable. I really like that. And then the last one is this one, which is just a very voluminous, voluminous haircut. Also really digging it. Why does she suit everything? I think I'm going to give her the pink. It matches her eyes. Looks super cute. How there's no new hats is beyond me. No witch hat? There's no witch hat? Why don't we have that? Oh my god. My whole aesthetic in one earring. Oh my god. I love them. Oh, this is it. This alone would make me buy the pack. Oh my god. I love it. Okay, let's check out the necklaces. We have this. Ooh, it's like a crystal. Is it glowing? I can't tell if it's just the lighting. It's definitely glowing. <gasps> and then we have this one, which is like a really cool choke. The same kind of gem in the middle, which is really cool. Oh, wait, that one has a green plum bob in the middle. That's awesome. All right, and then the last one, so cute. There's a key and some stars, and I'm just living it up. So far, the jewelry is my favorite part. I don't have any complaints about a single one of these things. I love all of them. So is there any new makeup? Let's find out. There is. We have this eyeliner, which wowza. It's extra. I'm going to take it off. And then we have this lipstick, which wowza again. <laughs> very, very extra. Very ombre if that's what you're into. It's a little extra for me. That's saying a lot coming from me. And then we have this one, which I love. <laughs> It's a little weird looking though, right? Oh, it's shimmery. But I feel like it looks a little rough around the edges. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Oh my God, it's so cute. All right, we're gonna start out with the full body outfits. Let's see what we got. What the? I thought this game was rated T for teen. They were not even playing around when they made this pack, were they? <laughs> It's a cute dress, you know. Wow. Next, we have this one. This is much more innocent than the previous one. Oh, that's cute. We have a little tie in the back. Oh, what? Look at the patterns. Oh, cute. Oh, that's such a wholesome little dress. Next, we have this one, which again, very, very wholesome. We got some stuff on the sleeves. Oh, we got some patterns. These are so cute. Oh, look at that one. That's so cute. Moving on to the next one. Oh, this is very like evil sorceress. Evil sorceress getting married. <laughs> next. Oh, this is so so cute. This is very me. This is something I really like. Oh, that's cute. We also have some solid colors as well. Beautiful. Love that one. That one's really cute. Next we have, oh my God, the moon. Sorry, I just like almost broke my desk. It's so textured. Look at that. You can like see the texture. It looks really warm. <laughs> 
Oh, so cute though. I love the moons. That's my aesthetic, my brand. Next we have this dress, which is interesting. It's giving me like renaissance -y vibes. Not necessarily a bad thing. It's just interesting. I don't hate it though. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. And last but not least, we have this one, which why do I like this so much? Is it the scarf? It has to be the scarf. Look how cute the scarf is. Oh my God. Why does this look like something straight out of Beauty and the Beast? This is adorable. I love this. It's so cute. So that's all the full body outfits. Let's move on to the tops. The first one is this little sheer red tank top slash shirt with a collar. There's a lot to unpack there. This is pretty simple, pretty cute. That's cute, they got the little pattern. Nothing about it screams witchy to me, but it's cute nevertheless. Next, oh, this is fancy. We have like a nice blazer. Oh, I like the gold details. Next, we have this one, which is a little less formal. It's kind of like this top. They just cut it off on the bottom. They're like, yeah, we don't need that anymore. Ooh, I like the stripes. That's so cute. Next is the one I'm most excited about because it is something I would a thousand percent wear. Oh, look at the moon and the stars. Are you joking? And then look at the little broomstick. Oh, there's a cat one. I didn't even know there was a cat one. I love this one. Oh, then we've got some ombre options. So cute. It's probably my favorite one so far. Next, we have this one, which I also really like. I like the like leather belts around the waist. That's so cute. And it has gloves that are like built in. This is a very interesting top, but I really like it. I really like this color in particular. And last but not least, we're going full leather. <laughs> that is making me sweaty just looking at it. Trying to get out of that, I can't even imagine. It's gonna be stuck to your body. But we do have multiple different colors. Oh, that one's kind of pretty. They are extremely shiny. Wow, wow indeed. And for bottoms, first one we have is like a little skirt. It's a little shiny, but I don't think it's leather shiny. That other thing was like really shiny. That's pretty basic, nothing really to say about it. Next, we have some shorts with like a little tie in the front. These are very, very cute. I like that they're high-waisted. Good job, Sims team. Oh, I love the pink. Love Love that. Next, we have a very long skirt. This one I think would go with that other top that was in there. I like the stripes on the bottom. You know what? Halloween is just calling my name. And last but not least, we have these pants, which I adore. Door. Oh my god, they have pink. I love when they add pink in there. Oh, the stripes. Oh my god, that's so cool. Wait, this is kind of a look. Dude, I love these pants. I love them. Moving on to shoes. We have two new shoes. They're both boots. Oh my god, that is Jesus. Oh, look at the belts though. I do like the use of the belts. That's actually pretty neat. This is some straight up clownery. There's even pink. They listen to me, don't they? Next, we have these, which are also extremely bulky, but let's see what they got going on. Oh my god, black and gold. Oh my goodness. These are a little much. But they have a chunky heel, which means that my Sims will be comfortable and their feet will not hurt as much. Bravo, Sims team. Okay, before we go, I also forgot to check out the accessories. Oh my God, there's a bunch. First thing we have is this like leather band bracelet. They really liked the use of leather in this pack and I'm kind of down for it. It looks pretty good. Oh, I like the white and like the rose gold. That's pretty. Next we have this one, which, oh my word, that is so edgy. Oh wait, I kind of love it though. <laughs> Am I an edge lord? I really like this one. That's fabulous. Wow. Next we have this one. Oh, it goes on the arm. This is so pretty. Look at the gym. That's gorgeous. Okay. Big fan of that one. Really enjoying that. Next we have two new tights. We have this one, which has little like floral patterns on it, which is adorable. And then we have some like really messed up fishnets, which really kind of goes with the whole theme here. I think I want to go like full on. Oh, what the? I didn't even see the back. Holy moly. We're going full on witch here. I really like this one. It's probably just because it has two moons on it and I literally can't resist. Moving on to guys, they do have these two new hairs. If you take off the masculine, they can wear whatever the heck they want. Same accessories. As for clothes, let's see what the men get. This is the first shirt and this is really cool. It almost looks like there's a fishnet pattern at the top. Oh my god, wait, it changes. What in the world? Oh, I like that one though. Next we have, the oh, this is so nice. That looks so comfortable. Wow. We got like a nice little sweatshirt. Got some little rips in it. I don't know what they've been through, but clearly they've been through some stuff. Next, oh, quite possibly the best shirt ever made by EA. Oh my God, so good. We have some solid patterns in there. We have some different patterns in there, but by far the best one is obviously this one. Next, we have this one, which I thought was camouflage at first. I'm still kind of getting those vibes. Just another shredded shirt. They're all shredded. Next, we have this one, which is shredded at the top and the bottom. Different kind of shred, but I also really like it. Ooh, it dips down in the back too. Very nice. Next, we have this one, which is also 
one of my faves. Look at the little buttons. It's like little stars. It looks so comfortable. I love the collar. Very fashionable. Next we have this. Oh, also the buttons. Keep the buttons, y'all. They're little like stars. This is also very nice. Got a weird little cut right here. Makes it a little different. I like it a lot. And then last but not least, we have full on Justin Bieber. We got a hood. He's in hiding. He doesn't want anyone to know his secret that he's a wizard when he's not recording music or getting into trouble. Now for bottoms, there are two new bottoms. We have this one, which surprise, surprise, ripped up jeans. But if you know anything about me, you know that I love those. <laughs> this is right up my alley. I'm really picky about Sims jeans, but I like these a lot. They actually look good. And then the last one we have is this one, which is interesting. If I take off his shirt, we got the little belt buckles. Nice tattoo. Love that. These are pretty nice. Maybe not with the shirt I had, but they're not bad. For full body, we have four new outfits. We have this one, which is... Uh, this is like... You looking like a head honcho with this and your flippy floppies. You don't give a damn. Next, we have this one, which is like beginner wizard, which I kind of like it. It looks really cozy. This looks like me at home every day. Next, we have this one, which is giving me like high school letterman vibes, but for wizards. It's pretty nice. This is fancy smancy. Oh my God, look at that. And last but not least, we have this, which is another like beginner looking, I guess. I like these kind of ones. I like this one a lot. It just makes me feel cozy looking at it. Like I want my Sims to be cozy like me. For accessories, they have the bracelet. I assume you can get whatever you want if you take this off. And for shoes, oh what, they have another one? They have some sneakers. Oh, these are so good, excuse me? They have a shortened version of the boot, which is really cute. I really like the short version. That's nice. And then they also have the ginormous version as well. But I really like the sneakers. I think these look so cute. So moving on to aspirations, there are actually two new aspirations, which they kind of snapped, right? So for knowledge, we have the spellcraft and sorcery aspiration. It says the sim craves a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. That's pretty freaking cool. And the other one is in the nature category and it's called purveyor of potions. This sim wants to learn every potion's recipe and craft each one. So depending on what you want your sim to be, like an alchemist or a spellcaster, I'm going with spellcaster, you can choose from here. Doesn't look like there's any new traits, but we did get two new aspirations, so that's pretty cool. Now as far as actually making them into a witch or a wizard, oh sorry, spellcaster. I need to get my terminology correct. I obviously didn't do it right away, but there you go. It's possible, but I'm gonna do it in the game. I wanna see how it's done. All right, I've given her a few traits. Let's head on our way. Way. All right, so we have a new world, which is called Glimmerbrook. And you can even see the little portal in there. So technically there's like two new worlds, right? Because there's this one, which is for the puny mortals. And you have this little portal over here, which takes you to the new world. This is a very small world. There's only five lots, pretty small. However, let's jump in and let's see how it looks. Let's give it a chance, y'all. Oh, it's so cute, oh my God. So there is a brook that goes through it, hence the name of the world. Oh my God, look at that. Wow. Also, if anyone was wondering, no, you cannot swim in this brook. Apparently the current is too strong and your sims would get carried away to a death. So it's pretty small. I can see all the lots from here, which I kind of like. I would have liked it to be bigger since it's so beautiful, but let's not waste any time here, y'all. Let's check out these objects and then we'll check out the new world. We have four new pre-made rooms, which is pretty good. We have the alchemist scullery. Oh my God, look at the cauldron. Oh my word. This is so good. <laughs> I don't know what noise I just made, but that's really cool. Next, we have the Arcanist's retreat. Oh my god, the bed, the bed, the mirror, the- oh, I just choked. The stained glass, holy moly. Well, I wasn't ready for all of that, that's for sure. Next, we have the wizard's lair. Oh my god, it looks so cute. The purple lighting really gives it that mood. Look at the fireplace with the freaking crystals. <gasps> it's Crystal City in here. This is my aesthetic everywhere. Oh my God, this is so me. Realm of Vixella. Thank you so much everyone for checking out my game pack. <laughs> Summoner's Nook. This is like an outdoorsy one. This looks cute. Oh my God, the gold cauldron. Who are you trying to impress? Look at the new gate and oh my God. All right, we got to get into this. I'm getting antsy. Let's check out any new wallpapers. Look how cute that is. Are you kidding? Got a bunch of different colors. Next, we have this one. Oh, it has tiles. That's nice. Again, bunch of different colors. Very good for bathrooms. Tiles are always good for bathrooms. Next, we have Venerable Brick. This is good for the outside, it looks like. This is good. Next, we have Magnificent Brick, which again, very nice. It looks like there's some cool corners. I need to make a corner real quick. Look at that. It looks like a tree. I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, you guys know I'm pretty honest about this stuff. And by pretty honest, I mean 100% honest. And I'll tell you if I hate something. So far, I am really 
happy. All right, so we got some new floorings. Oh, that's cool. It's like a tile, but it's wood. Oh, and look at that. You can switch it up. Look at that. And next we have a cobblestone. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. Next we have some new doors. Let's start with the- Oh my god, these are so cute. <gasps> look at the moon. Ah! Beauty and the Beast is choking. Oh my god. That's incredible. Now we have this door, which, oh my, that looks so cute. It's like a little princess door. I know that's not the vibe they were going for, but that's the vibe I'm going for. Next, we have a beautiful arch. Dude, the builds in this game are gonna be insane. The moon again, I can't breathe. Oh my word, they snapped, they snapped. I feel like I'm a little biased on this pack because it is like my whole aesthetic in life. I'm really excited. What in the world? Whoa! Every time I see it, I want to just puke. I'm so excited. This stained glass is killing me. It's so good. All right, next we have this door, which looks like the toned down version of that one. Oh, look at the little doorknobs. They're like little balls. This pattern is going to be the death of me. I'm just going to tell you right now. And last but not least, we have door to nowhere, which is, is that a three tile door? It is. Oh my God. That's so good. Wow. Now we're moving on to windows. Shut up. They all have the stained glass. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my God. These are so good. The circle windows. Oh my God. So good. Do I even care about the rest of these? No, I only like these two. Okay, that's a lie. I like the rest of them, but I'm just obsessed with these. The next one we have is this one, which looks like it's like a little bit smaller. <gasps> that's so good. <gasps> okay, you know what? The noises that I'm making in this uh, video are quite... They're kind of alarming. Is it on every single window? Oh my God, this one has an eyeball. Okay, other than like just the stained glass, the windows on a regular basis are very nice. Like even the basic ones are nice. I like when they have white and black. I think it looks really nice on houses. Very into those. Next we have this one. Ooh, a long boy. Oh, I can finally make my dream house. <laughs> it's possible now. And last but not least, we have the curved windows, which you can flip around, obviously. We have a few new little accent pieces here. I'm not even really sure what these are called, but they're gorgeous. There's so many swaps. Watches. This is what we need. Next, we have the, oh my God, is that a balcony? Whoa, she's pretty. We also have these little things. They're really hard to show off, but you get the idea. And we have some columns. Oh my God, these are the fanciest freaking columns I ever did see. Next, we have two new gates. This is the first one. And we have this one, which is a little bit taller and more grand, if you could even get more grand. Oh, look at that one. That screams Maleficent. Pretty, I like it. We need to check out the new gate. Oh, they didn't have to snap that hard. Jeez. Also, haven't played with the new stairs yet. Oh my God, wait, how does this even work? Whoa, whoa. You can even go all the way around. Oh my God. So anyways, what I was trying to show you was the new railing. Oh, what the heck? I haven't played with the new stairs yet and I'm just freaking out. There's a lot of things to unpack here. It goes all the way around. That looks so good. Color me impressed. That's really good. Oh, there's a new fountain. Oh my God. She's beautiful. That's so pretty. Everything's so whimsical in this pack. I love it. No new plants though, which is unfortunate. Would have liked to see some. Moving on to the objects. I would say that was a decent amount of build objects for a game pack. Let's see how many buy objects there are. All right, honestly, a decent amount. So we got the first bed. It's adorable as predicted. Not crazy about the pattern on the bed, if I'm honest. Kind of was expecting a little bit more. However, I do like the headboard a lot. Next, we have the most extra bed on planet Earth. There's a moon pattern. That's so good. Next, we have a little chair. Oh my my god, he's so cute. For all of my World of Warcrafters out there, I am getting wow vibes from this. Like straight up night elves, they're my fave. Leave a comment down below if you play wow. <laughs> This chair is huge. Are you joking? Why is that chair so big? Next, we have a bar stool. I love the wood tones. They're so nice. Look how cool this is. Oh, that's so cute. Next, we have a little love seat that matches. I assume they all have the same swatches, correct? We have a little bench, a little stone bench. I feel like we have a couple of these, but what's another one? We have new counters. Shut up. And they just have a solid white. Thank God. They also have the matching island, which I can't seem to place correctly. Gorgeous. We have a dining table, a very long boy. He's pretty cute. Oh, a little round table. Oh, the round tables are always my favorite. That looks like a moon. Love it. Next, we have a coffee table, which again, it's probably gonna look, yeah, it's gonna look the same as all the other ones. Oh, we have a desk. There's a glowy thing on the desk. It glows. Oh my word, it glows. What? Do y'all see that? That's so cool. We have a wand display. What in the world? Are you joking me? There's a wand display? We have like a china cabinet. The moon! Ugh. It's so me. Next, we have like a little, I believe this is like an end table, question mark. Love it. Next, we have a sink. Oh my God. How extra do you want your sink to be? 
Yes. Just in case you thought we were done. Extra toilet. I kind of love it though. Oh, I like the little, little leaves. I love it. And a shower to complete the collection. Oh, the shower of my dreams. <laughs> Next, we have the two cauldron. They take up a lot of space. This one, it has like a little stone on the bottom. This is a more natural looking one. Look, that one's a little dusty, crusty, and musty. That's the cheaper option. If you wanted to splurge, oh, there's crystals underneath. Oh, dude, it's worth it. Just splurge, just splurge. We have a new bar, which is so freaking cute. I love it. Next, we have some wall decor. We have this. Oh my God, look how cute that is. Is that a potato with legs? Someone answer me that. Oh, and they changed. Oh, so cute. Cute. I love the one with the potions. That was my favorite. Next, we have the Spellcaster Scheduler. Oh my God, are these the moon faces? They're beautiful. Look at that artwork. Dude, I can't wait to go to the other world. I'm pumped. A mirror, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not surprised as everything in this pack so far has been insane. We have a new mirror, also gorgeous. This one's a little lackluster. Not my favorite thing. It just looks a little womp womp. Next, we have some curtains. Oh, you can raise these babies up too. Hallelujah. They look like silk. Fancy. I love what they're hanging on though. This little top part is really nice. I like these. These are different. I love the way that they're draped down. Like it's so pretty. Rugs. Okay. I am a kind of a rug snob. Let's see how I feel about these. So we have a runner. We can connect like that if we want to. Oh, so you could do like, oh, you can just keep going. Oh, I see. Okay. I give it like a six out of 10. Not my favorite. Not the worst. We got a big mama right here. This is a really big one. Let's see what we got. I like that. I love that. Loving this one right here. As you might imagine, this would go perfect with a cauldron. That's all I'm going to say. Next, we have the- Oh my god, are we summoning something? Oh my god, that is amazing. That just looks like stone with some glowy textures on it. I'm living for it. I think it looks really cool. This would also look really good with a cauldron right in the middle. So this is what I was really excited about because it has crystals. I actually think I might do this to my fireplace because mine is currently broken. If I turn it on, my house probably will catch on fire. So I think I might actually just take the wood out and put crystals because that looks freaking bomb. Next, we have some little plants to hang on the wall. I always love these. I think they're so cute. Next, we have a working scale. I don't really know what that means. We can put it on top of tables though. Oh, that's so cute. Cute little decor. We have like a little potion looking shelf. This is freaking awesome. And the little display changes. Cute. We also have this cabinet, which holds a lot of potions and things to make potions. It looks like very nice. Next, we have the bassinet, which is what I was freaking out over earlier. We need more of these. Look at how cool this is. Dude. Crystal of the air. Are you freaking kidding me? This is awesome. Next, we have a lamp, which is kind of like a candle lamp, which is freaking cool. I got to admit. Next, we have an orb torch. I don't know how that works. Next, we have a, oh my, okay, that's huge. <laughs> we have this giant chandelier, which is actually the coolest thing. I wonder if you go into live mode. Oh, there's orbs. You see the orbs? I see the orbs. We got some sconces we can put on the wall. We got some little buggies. We got a normal looking sconce. We have a new fridge. What? What the heck? It's so cute. And we have a new stove. Oh my god, that's so cute. We have a couple new bookcases. They are gorgeous. We have a three tiered one, which is huge. We have a new dresser, which is gorgeous. And another new dresser, which is also beautiful. And with that being said, I believe we have seen it all. So before we end the video, we are going to venture into the actual realm of magic. We're going into the super secret world. I can't wait. Let's find this baby. There it is. I found it. Ah! How do we even get over there? We walk through the water. Okay. We have arrived. Let's travel to the magic realm. Whoa. Oh my word. Oh. oh my God. Whoa. Look at the bridge. What the heck? There's ghosts everywhere. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? There's like a bunch of different islands. You can't travel from the map. It looks like if you choose travel, you're back here. So I don't know how you even get over here. I guess you have to take the portals, huh? This is stunning. What the? What the So I don't know where we are or what we're even doing here. So there's a couple portals we can take to get to the other little islands. Let's try that. Let's go to the dueling grounds. I don't know if we're ready for all of that. Oh, okay. That was instant. Lovely. I went to the most boring island. There's nothing here. Caster's Alley. 
Ooh. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is so Harry Potter. Getting so many Harry Potter vibes. Buy wands, tombs, and familiars. Excuse me, out of my way, ladies. I want to look at familiars. Oh my god, we have a bone one, ancient wood one, familiar orb of the fairy, the raven, the owl. The 6 am owl. He's an alien owl. A wand of astral creation. The familiars are not even really that expensive. I'm gonna buy an owl. Oh, but I'm not a spellcaster. No. So what do you sell? Brooms and crystals. The classic wood broom, like what I saw sweep with. A magic mop! <laughs> and last but not least, we have potion ingredients, which I assume are gonna be like plants and herbs and stuff. Oh, angelfish, apple, dragon fruit, exotic goldfish. Oh, potion of perk purging? What in the world? So we've checked out some of the shops. Let's go back to the headquarters. I think there's one more we can go to over here. Go to the gardens. Ooh! Oh my god. Wait, can we not go in here? Are you joking? Is that a snake? Ah, it's a snake! I wish we could live here. I kind of thought that we were gonna be able to do that. I'm a little disappointed that we can't. Oh my God, you can use the cauldrons to cook food. <laughs> well, alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you guys wanna see any more kind of gameplay, I will be doing a very short let's play on this game pack so that we can check it out because it's kind of intriguing. If you've watched this far in the video, make sure to comment the secret emoji down below. The secret emoji of today is this one. To become part of the early squad, click that notification bell and make sure all notifications are on so you never miss any of my videos. Hope you guys are having a magical day and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.